HRA started planning for this project uh, last August, August of 2009. The, uh, the roof and the siding had been replaced uh, after the 98 storm. The uh, interior of the home was like stepping back into 1959. Well, you know, the house had typical challenges that you'd see from a 1950s home. It needed storage, it needed space, it needed open areas for gathering, um, just needed bigger bedrooms, you know, just it had tight, cramped spaces. But when you walked in, there was this, um, this planter feature here. So what we did is we removed the planter feature, we took the walls out, and then we added on to the back. So what you have when you walk into the house is this experience of, of grandeur. So you're opening up and the house opens up in front of you. So even though you're in a sub 1,000 square foot split, it feels like you're in a much larger house, which I think is a really great effect. If we walk into here, you can see that we're going to have this area where it's a little tighter, so we clip the corner. Now this is twofold, you know, if you have a, a, a scooter or a wheelchair or something, it gives you extra room to get through and maneuver, and you don't have these sharp, hard corners when you come through, so you can have good transfer areas. We, we added on to this kitchen. Now the kitchen was kind of right over here behind me. So what we're doing is we move the kitchen kitty corner of that and out 10 feet. The reason we did that is to open it up, we give it this bigger open space, we get a clean access to the backyard through this door back here. We're going to have a window seat built in right here, so you'll be able to have a spot where you can sit down by the door, enjoy the outside, have a small deck on the outside there where there's a grill, kind of at your floor height, so you can have a grill close, and then you'll be able to step down to your ground level patio. Um, when we took this wall out, we have this engineered header that goes in there. That carries the new roof and ceiling loads. Um, this is something that a lot of people have a lot of interest in. People want to take out walls. They want to understand how to take those walls out. And what this does is it demonstrates to them exactly what they need to do to open those walls up and be able to put headers up there and remove the walls. So that the, the ultimate complaint with these bathrooms is closet space and room. There's no room for people in it. So what we did is we gave it this two feet which is going to open this room up a lot. So people are going to have room inside of this bathroom. And then we turn this linen closet into the bathroom. So you'll be able to have this accessible linen closet that's in your bathroom, which I think is a, is a great feature. Um, this was the old door that led into this bedroom right here. And you can see here that we used the studs that we took out of the house back into the project. So I think that's a nice thing to show people too. You know, this, this is good lumber still. We might as well reuse it. And if you look at this floor line right here, you can see that there was a bedroom here, a bedroom here, and a bedroom back there. So what we did is we removed this wall, and we opened this up to a much larger master bedroom. Now what we're going to do in this, there's a couple ways to do these floors once you get them in here. You can remove all the flooring, and then relay it to get these seams out of here. There, you can zip them together with pieces inside, but if they don't line up perfectly, that becomes very difficult. So what we're going to do, is we're going to put a mahogany board in there to highlight that there was a transition there. But we don't want people to know that there was a wall there, there was some feature there that they don't know about. So we're going to put an additional highlight board around the rest of the room. So it kind of picture frames the room, so it looks like that was all part of that design. So we added this larger master closet back here. The window will not be part of it. Um, this is just, you know, it's not a... It's not the hugest closet in the world, but it's a really comfortably large closet, much larger than anything that was in here before. In the kitchen, is we had kind of an awkward little space here. This shower, which exists right here, was actually open and exposed to the rest of the family room here. So the actual wall for this um, bathroom was like right here. So it came across right here and then it angled back. So what we did is we took this stairway wall and we just brought it straight across. And then we created a longer angle here, which gives us a much more accessible mechanical area. And then we were able to preserve uh, this bathroom exactly as it was. We removed all the ceiling top. The reason is twofold. That way all the electrical and the mechanical runs can get done at a much easier pace. So we have access to everything up here. But the other reason was is because they were, you know, kind of ugly one by one square tiles. So we're actually going to save and incorporate the paneling that we have into what's here already. It's really nice cherry paneling and you just don't see it everywhere. So we're going to have these nice knockdown ceilings with some clover on the outside. That's going to make a really nice impact down here.